Lauren, I'm already bored out of my mind. I've considered all of my options. Working out, getting a job, even trying to enroll in summer school. In the least problematic way ever, I'm losing my mind. <sighs> Sweetie. What? You've been laying here all morning. Mom, I'm sick. I think that girl I sit next to in class, Amanda, contracted something when she was in Idaho. And now I'm sick. You need to get up and do something. Now, I'm serious. I'm not afraid to cancel the Netflix subscription. And so that's how it happened. A Netflix subscription got threatened. And so that's when I decided, let's get crafty. Did any of y'all, is my painting crooked? Mm, I think it is, but I'm not gonna let it bother me. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Callista. So today we have another great video from yours truly. You wanna know what it is? I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it a surprise. Just kidding, I'll tell you. Um, it's basically a DIY video. Round of applause. I'm so excited. But this isn't just a normal summer DIY video. We do things differently here. We do them cheap and easy. Because that's the way to do things. And I have the DIY skills of a three-year-old. So therefore, anybody can accomplish these DIYs and you could have literally any budget and still do these DIYs. You're welcome. I'm great, I know. This video is sponsored by my good friends over at Hubert's Lemonade. Thank you. Round of applause. So with that being said, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. I guess. Also, I have a giveaway going on on Instagram, and you could win a Forever 21 dollar. Uh, you could win a Forever 21 gift card. And all you have to do is follow me. So make sure to do that. All the rules will be in the description. Let's start on the do-it-yourself project. So for DIY number one, we are going to be making my personal favorite sponge splashers. These are super fun pool toys to play with because we're all still kids at heart. So fun to do with your friends and different from your typical average water balloon fight and they're reusable because filling up water balloons every single time you want to have a water balloon fight can get so annoying so you're just going to need two sponges typically found in your kitchen scissors and a hair tie start by cutting both of the sponges vertically into fours then bunch the sponges together tie them together in the middle with a hair tie and then you have sponge splashers Woohoo! These are so fun to play with on a hot summer day, and I mean, who doesn't love a good sponge splasher fight? You don't know until you try it, so you might as well make them. And like I said, you can reuse them all summer. The perfect way to re-energize on a hot summer day in the middle of all of your DIYs is drinking Hubert's Lemonade. This is seriously my favorite way to cool down and regain energy in the midst of the summer heat. Hubert's is so good. And they have a ton of different flavors. Oh my gosh, summer bucket list idea? Try all of Hubert's Lemonade's flavors. My personal faves are the strawberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade, 10 out of 10, and of course, the original. Also, may I add the packaging is so adorable, perfect for a DIY Instagram photo shoot. You can find them at your local grocery store. So when you're feeling like you need a little boost of energy or just craving a tasty summer drink, Hubert's Lemonade is the way to go. So our next DIY is perfect for our favorite Hubert's Lemonade. These are adorable customized drink covers. So the first thing you're going to need is a drink koozie. I got them at Walmart for 97 cents. Then I took fabric paint and you're going to want to either write your name or your initials. That way everyone knows whose drink it is. Then I took some washi tape and sequins to decorate the koozie to my liking and then you put your Hubert's lemonade in your personalized drink koozie and you're all ready. These are perfect for any summer gathering or just a day at the beach and they're so fun to make with your friends. We all know I'm a huge music lover and speakers can get really expensive. Let me tell you, I've been looking at the prices on Amazon. This is why I did this DIY. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to want to do is decorate the toilet paper roll with washi tape of your choice. I got these ones at Michael's and they're so summery. Big fan. Once you decorate it to your liking, you're going to want to cut a hole in the toilet paper roll for the phone to sit in. I recommend taking a pen and like creating a little like a uh, circular hole. These holes are circular and then cutting it from there it just makes it a little bit easier since it's kind of a hard object to cut. Then place tags on all four of the ends on the bottom of the roll. And then just like that, you have your own personalized speaker. Perfect for all of the Taylor Swift and Sam Hunt I'll be listening to over the summer. Also such amazing, cute room decor. This seriously looks so good in my room, big fan. <laughs> so for this next DIY, we are going to be recycling our old clothes. For this, you're going to want any old t-shirts. Band shirts are my personal fave. I think they work the best. So any sporting shirts, school shirts, graphic tees, whatever. You're going to want to take bleach and spray it on random spots of the shirts to give it a cool, vintage looking effect. Then I took these studs from Michael's and I put them on the collar, but you can put them 
them on like the uh, shoulder part too. If you're feeling it, whatever you're vibing with. And just like that, you took the shirt from a solid four to 10 in minutes. These two simple steps revamp any old clothes and makes them feel brand new. So if you're looking for a new wardrobe but you don't have the budget, this is perfect. Also another great project for revamping the wardrobe. Have old white shoes that have gotten a lot of use out of them or just looking to make customizable shoes. This is for that. So all you're gonna need for this is light colored shoes, permanent markers, and rubbing alcohol. So first I just took the markers and basically you can draw whatever you want. Very much up to you. I did these random stripes. I thought they looked kind of boho, like the Wonderstruck Taylor Swift bags that they used to have, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, there's a ton of different designs online if you want to look them up. Galaxy, rainbow, whatever. Then I took the rubbing alcohol and I poured it onto the shoes to give it a watercolor effect. You can rub it in if you want to help blend in the colors. And then your shoes are going to look so cool and customized and no one else is going to have a pair like them. You can get super crafty with this Everyone one. Everyone is going to be complimenting your shoes. On to the last DIY and my personal favorite. So with so much free time in the summer, there's a lot of room for boredness. And that's where this DIY is perfect. So for this DIY, you're just going to need a mason jar, washi tape, craft sticks, and letter stickers. So to start off, we're going to be taking our craft sticks and writing ideas on them for things to do when you're bored. <laughs> that was my friend. Anyways, you can look up ideas for things to do when you're bored on Pinterest or Google. Once you have all of your ideas, you're going to want to take the washi tape and separate the activities by different tape designs. So pink for things to do with friends, purple to do for things at your house, and blue for things to do when you're bored and can spend money. You get the idea. Then I took my stickers and put boredom jar on the jar just so it was labeled and I knew exactly what it was. And there you have your own boredom jar. The concept is very simple but super helpful and super fun to make and also a great way to pick things to do when you're bored. Wow guys, can you believe that? Those were the coolest DIY projects ever. I don't know if I can stress how proud I am. Cause I'm proud! Woo! Super, super, super proud! Very proud. I'm in a crafty mood now. I need to go to the local craft store and buy like paint and glitter. And maybe even a canvas if I feel like going a little wild. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys liked it. Also, which project was your favorite? Make sure to comment down below and let me know which one you're gonna do. And if you do any of these, you better tweet me or Instagram me them or Snapchat me them. Whichever is your platform of preference. Also, thank you to my friends over at Hubbard's Lemonade for sponsoring this video. And yeah, so those were the DIYs. So that's basically all. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and bye guys.